my loves, welcome back to my channel. So today you are joining me while I get ready in this look. I wanted to try something a little bit like Kardashian-esque or J-Lo, or I'm not really sure what you call this, but it's got kind of like a 90s Spice Girls vibe as well. I definitely wanted to try something a little bit different because the other day I got my makeup done by Hector, Rihanna's makeup artist, and I learned a lot of tricks that I really wanted to try. So I was super inspired to sit down and, you know, just play and have a little bit of a go at doing some different makeup. This is definitely something that's outside of my comfort zone. I don't normally go nuts with eye colors or anything. I tend to stay in like that neutral lane, but I really want to start playing around a little bit more and having more fun with my looks. So this is something I really wanted to do. Also, I posted this hairstyle on my Instagram a couple of weeks ago and I had a lot of girls asking how I did it because obviously I have really short hair. So if you want to learn all of the tips and tricks that I learned the other day and also how to blend extensions to get this kind of a look going, just carry on watching. <laughs> Okay, so today I'm going to start on the eyes. It's a really good tip if you're doing a bit of a heavier eye look to start with the eyes and leave your base for later. Because if you have any fallout from the eyeshadow, you can just wipe it off and you don't have to worry about ruining the base that you've worked on. So I'm gonna prime the eyes with a bit of concealer. This is a really light color concealer. It's a Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer, so it's gonna help with actually a lot of coverage. And I'm just gonna use this little sponge to apply it pretty much all across the lid, up to the brows, and a little bit under as well. So to avoid that concealer creasing, I'm going to set it with some translucent powder. And as always guys, I'm gonna write all of the products I use in the description down below because I find it so much easier to just do the look rather than trying to figure out what everything is called. So if you want any products, just check in the description and you'll figure out what I've used. That's just gonna mean that that is set and it's not gonna move, it's not gonna crease when I'm smiling and blinking and it's not gonna all settle in that crease there. So see how nice and even that canvas is now? I can pretty much, you know, do whatever I want with it. So the first thing I wanna do is softly define my crease and what I'm going to use is this bronzer. This is the bronzer that I'm gonna use on my face later on so it's gonna all tie in and look natural. As you can see, I absolutely love this bronzer. I've had it for about two weeks and I've hit pan already. So I'm gonna have to get another one soon, but I just wanna use a big brush and just softly define the crease a little bit. Now I'm going to pick up this color here from the Fenty palette, it's called Cumin Get It. <laughs> and it's just a slightly darker sort of brown shade. Same thing, I'm just buffing that towards the crease just to define that even more. I like to bring it out a lot further than my eye. Really opens up my eye and elongates it when I've got the lashes on later. It just makes my eyes look a lot bigger than they actually are. Plus it'll tie in with my bronzer and foundation that I've got on later. I'm gonna take that same color there and pop it all the way across my lower lid. I'm really smoking that out fairly far because I'm gonna kind of graduate into a much darker color. So this is only gonna be the very outside. And I don't normally do this, but I'm actually going to bring it all the way towards the inner corners of my eye. So I'm quickly going to change tune and jump onto my eyebrows. I wanna use them as a guide of where I need to take this. Plus, I don't really love looking at my reflection without them done, given they're so sparse. <laughs> so let's jump into brows. I'm gonna use this tiny Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, eyebrow pencil. It's the color chocolate, which means it's not too dark on me. And I think it's a nice subtle look. As I'm doing it, I just brush through to make my little strokes look more like hairs. So I just like pop a little bit on, give it a little brush. <laughs> okay, now I'm starting with the exciting part of the eyes and I'm going to use this color here. It's a super deep red. It's the saffron color in the Fenty palette and I'm gonna put that all over my lids. If you don't use these already, I cannot recommend them enough. They are called face halos, and they're like these little microfiber cleansing towelettes. They're incredible, and my friend Chloe Morello actually makes them. So definitely wanna support that. She actually just made a video that she dropped 
uh, on her channel of us getting ready together. So if you want to see us having like a little bit of a chit chat and both of us getting ready, head over to her channel. I'll make sure I'll link it in the description below. This is looking crazy, but don't worry, I will bring it back in. <laughs> <laughs> this is not what it's gonna look like at the end. <laughs> so I am bringing the red down onto my lower lids as well. <laughs> it's time to blend this out a little and not look so crazy. So I'm going to go back in with this transition color here and just softly blend the edges. Okay, so I've tried to blend that out nice and smoothly. I do still look like a crazy red panda. So what I'm going to do now is get some black going on to define this and smoke it out. I'm going to start with my waterline. I'm just going to color that in nice and black. And then I'm going to pick up some jet black eyeshadow and use that kind of like eyeliner. Now the reason I'm using eyeshadow instead of eyeliner is because I want to really sort of smudge it out so it gets that smoky looking effect. I'm taking it right into the inner corners which is something I rarely ever do but I feel like it's going to look awesome with this look. And now I'm going to take a blank brush, there's nothing on this, but I just want to smudge out the edges of this black eyeshadow. Okay, so I've been blending that out for quite a while. You can see the transition is now fairly soft. I'm gonna leave the eyes there for a minute and start working on my base. Today I'm using the Giorgio Armani Lasting Silk UV Foundation and I'm just gonna pop that on with a beauty blender. I'm realizing I look a little spooky, which is good, I guess, given it's October. But this wasn't intended to be a Halloween tutorial. <laughs> But it's not the worst eye look for Halloween. Now I want to bring that in to cover my dark under eyes, but I don't want to bring it in so far that I get rid of the eye work that I've been doing. This color is a little light for my skin because it's starting to be summer here in Australia and um, I've gone and got myself quite the tan. So this color normally works for me. It's 5.5. But I think I'm going to have to bronze and kind of contour it a lot darker so that it matches my shoulders. I'm going to contour it using a Fenty matchstick. The color is suede. And I'm just going to darken down all around my forehead. I was shooting with Hector, Rihanna's makeup artist. He's like the official makeup artist for Fenty. And he told me to do my contouring higher than I normally would and kind of brush it down. Because it's going to lift my cheekbones up. I'm gonna give that a go today. You can see the video of him doing my makeup. It should already be live now. Kate's currently editing it while I'm filming this. And today I'm gonna to make my lips pop. They're gonna be nude, but I still want them to have some presence. So what I'm gonna do is contour up my lower lip. It's kind of like overlining, except less obvious in my opinion, because you blend it out a lot more. And for the highlighted contour, I'm gonna go back in with the Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. It's got really, really good coverage. And I wanna use this to define this whole area and look a little less Halloween-y. <laughs> right, so I'm just blending that out. So sorry, my camera just died, but I've been blending and just tapping that all down with my Beauty Blender. I'm going back with my translucent powder and I'm going to set that under the eyes before I start smiling too much and getting the lines everywhere. Now I'm still looking a little vampish with this light fair skin so I'm going to go to town with my bronzer. And I'm just popping that over where I contoured. Don't forget about the ears, otherwise they're going to look odd compared to your face. Rihanna's makeup artist was actually highlighting my ears, like literally put all sparkly highlighter on it, which I've never done before. But look cool. I like to pull my hair back so I get it right up in the hairline there and don't have this like sudden start of makeup. And now to just tie in my eyes, I'm going to take a little bit more of this bronzer and sort of flick it out to meet my temples. I'm going to tidy up under the eyes a little more with a really light pressed powder just to brighten up that little bag there. And finish off the face with a bit of blush. This is just going to tie in the colour of the eyes a little bit and bring a bit of warmth to my face. Definitely needed. 
And now I do typically love bright inner corners of my eyes. So what I'm going to do is pop a little bit of sparkle, sort of almost on the side of my nose there, which is going to lift that, but allow me to still have the dark inner eyes. So this is my favorite product at the moment to do that with. It's a ColourPop Luster Dust. And it's like a really loose powder, but it is so sparkly. So I'm just going to pick a little bit of that up with an earbud. And like basically there, create a little bit of a highlight. See how you just want something there to like catch the light a little bit? And then I'm also going to pop a little highlight here. And I'm going to use this pinky purpley Fenty product. Killer what foil? Pretty much right under the eyes. It's a lot higher than I thought you had to put it. But that is something I learned yesterday. This look would not be complete without some big luxe lashes. So I'm going to use these ones. They are new. They're called Coco and they're amazing. So I've cut the outer corner of that off, which is going to mean that the outer corner is really nice and long. And I'm just waiting for that glue to dry. While I let those lashes dry, I'm going to pop my lip on. I'm going to keep it nude, given I've got so much going on in the eyes. I think it's best to keep it nice and simple. I'm going to line it with this dark nude. And because I'm in an Airbnb at the moment, I don't have my entire kit on me, but I want a really, really nude matte kind of look. So I'm going to use a, another liner and just color in the rest of my lips. And I'm going to finish that off with a little sparkle on the lips because the eyes are quite matte. This is the Chloe Morello Pixie Collab and it's like this really nice shimmer lip gloss. Mascara! Oh, there it is. See how my lips look so much more plump because I've gone in and contoured under there. So there's a little bit of overlining going on and a little bit of contouring under there. And they're like super plump full looking lips. So the final thing I'm going to do is just pop a slick of mascara onto my Lashes, I like to do this because I feel like it blends my lashes with the falsies. Plus, look, it makes them look even more dramatic. Woo! And there we go. That is the makeup look done and dusted. Oh, it took a long time. So basically what we've got going on are some really fierce red eyes. It's a really strong color there towards the center of my eyes and kind of smokes out to the black towards the outer part. I've done black all the way around my eyes, which I rarely ever do because it seems really, really full on. And if you don't blend it all out right, you can really look quite panda, which is, um, yeah. You need to give this look a little bit of time. And it's all about just like really softly blending and not putting on too much, but just layering little bit by little bit. I have got that purple highlight on, a little bit of highlight there in the center of the nose just to draw the attention. And the lips are looking a lot more pouty than when I started because I have so you can see how that's kind of fading out. It's not a distinct line. I definitely feel a lot more made up than what I normally am. Like I feel like I am ready for a nighttime event. <laughs> so now that I finished my makeup, it is time for my hair. I'm going to do a style that I actually posted on my Instagram a couple of weeks ago and I had a fair few comments of people asking how I did it, especially given that I have currently fairly short length hair. So there are a couple of tricks that I do to achieve this style. It's gonna be like a tight half up half down kind of vibe but I'm gonna pop my extensions in. I'm gonna show you what I do to blend them. Might be worth zooming out a little so that you can actually see what I'm doing on the top of my head, on the top of my head, on the top of my head, on the top of my head. Okay, let's go. So the first thing you wanna do is kind of grab the top of your hair and pick up everything that you want to be in your pony. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you need to put it away. All right, that's gonna be my pony. I'm going to just clip that away for now because we're gonna work with that a little bit later. Now, the reason I'm clipping that away is so that I know where I'm gonna have that line. This means that I can't obviously put extensions across there like normal because I would have lines across my part. Next up, I'm gonna grab just above my ears and take away this top layer and clip that away too. 
Now this trick is a really good trick if you have short hair and especially if it's a blunt cut it's always so hard to blend extensions in. So I'm going to pin this away entirely. So I'm just going to hairspray that so it's got a nice amount of grip. I'm also going to back comb it a little so that my extensions have something to hold onto. And then I'm going to pin it flat onto my head so all of this hair is not going to be out at all. All you need is a bunch of bobby pins and I like to kind of bring it over to this side here and like twist it basically so that you kind of create like it flat on your head and pin that into place. This doesn't have to look neat at all. It can be a disaster because you're going to cover it all up. I'm just going to spray that to make sure none of that ends up poking out anywhere and stays nice and flat and out of the way. So essentially what I've done here is I now have this space where I can clip my Luxies. Now I use Luxie hair extensions and what I like to do because I have some highlights in my hair is mix two different colors. So today I'm mixing the Ombre Chestnut with the Dirty Blonde. So when you pop them on top of each other and you blend your hair all through it and curl it, it ends up looking really nice and blending really well. So when you are mixing two different colors, the main tip I can give you is start with the dark and then put the blonde over the top. So I'm just going to clip that in right at the base of this random flat bun mess that I've created and start layering my extensions just like you normally would. Once you've got this bit covered in clip-ins, you want to remove this first piece here and carry on clipping them how you normally do. So just little piece by little piece and starting to blend my own hair in there. So all you basically have to do is make sure that you don't have any of the clips showing on this part here. So I've clipped them all in towards the back there and now what I'm going to do is curl this whole back area. And just take little sort of inch size pieces and see how you can still tell the difference between my hair and the extensions? This curl is going to massively help with that problem. Oh my goodness guys, I am really battling with this camera so I have just switched it so it is a much wider angle. Sorry about that. But I feel like the lighting is a lot better. So I'm just going through and curling all of this back part of my hair. Last time I did this I actually curled them all in different directions but today I feel like it looking a little bit more polished wouldn't be a bad thing. So I'm kind of gonna brush this out and have like one big, nice, wavy looking curl. Actually, the wider angle isn't bad at all. Now you can actually see what I'm doing. <laughs> and same thing on the other side, I'm just gonna go through and throw a bunch of curls in there as well. So you can see here, I'm actually making them all lean towards the back. I'm feeling like when I put my extensions in, doing that kind of consistent curl blends them even better. I am loving my makeup so much, it looks, crazy to me but I'm really digging it like I need to do this when I go out oakly doakly so now I have gone through and curled all of that back there I'm just gonna let that sit for a little and cool down before I brush through it so now the crowning moment of the hairstyle I need to get this little diddly ponytail to have a bit more oomph and pizzazz so I'm going to put some extensions in the front at the top here as well first of all I'm going to clip the back away and then I'm going to separate the front inch of this like so Okay, that's pretty good. So, what I'm going to do is pop a little bit of hairspray in there. Give that a little tease real quick. This is really important if you have like straight or quite silky hair. It just stops the clip-ins from sliding around and pulling on your hair. So, I want to keep this there, but I'm going to keep it separate from the rest of my hair. So, I'm going to pin that there. Now, what I'm going to do is grab a piece with three clips so that it's not too wide for my head and pop that like so and then immediately over the top of that another piece with three clips so that I don't have blonde roots popping through and do that Weird, I know. And I'm going to lift all of that back and see how I now 
have enough for a proper ponytail. So now I want to brush this over the top of where I've just clipped those extensions. And let's get it slicky. To get this slicky, I pretty much need to drench it in product. And I just picked up this. It's Clean Cut Look Wet Shine Spray Gel. It is a men's product, I believe, but I reckon it's gonna do the trick. Yes! Slick. Oh, my baby hairs are relentless. They will not slick back. Funnily enough, this is how my mum used to do my hair when I was like a little girl. <laughs> little pineapple hair. And you really want that to be like on top of the head. Like not facing to the back too much. It's like, it almost needs to hang forward. Now I want to pop a couple of quick curls in here. So that my hair isn't poking out dead straight. And here in the pieces that are out. I'm going to put some of this gold dust uh, volume powder. So it's like that volume powder that you get that's really sticky. This one has little flecks of gold dust in it. It's from, I think, David Mallet? Yeah. And basically, I'm just going to pop that all around here and oomph up that volume a bit there. And voila, that is the look complete. Now, I hope you like it. I feel like it turned out a lot better than what I was expecting even, especially the makeup. I'm just digging that look and I definitely need to try a few more like colored eyes and things like that. I feel like I've been hanging out in the neutral bronze lane a little bit too much and I need to, you know, have fun with it and get a bit more adventurous and play around a bit more. I also hope that you enjoyed the little tricks of how to blend the Luxies with my short hair. I now just genuinely feel like I look like I have long hair. Like you can't see any short bits kind of around my neckline here. The pony is long as well. And um, it's blended really nicely. So I hope you enjoyed hanging with me today while I did this entire look. Let me know what you think, if it's a hit or a miss. Uh, let me know in the comments below whether you prefer me a bit more natural and like with the nudes and bronzers, or whether you think I should go nuts and start playing around with a lot more colors and doing a bit more crazy looks. I would love to hear your feedback, so let me know in the comments below. Also, if you have any ideas or questions or things that you'd like to learn and you want me to look into, please let me know. Any ideas are always welcome and I will be doing another video like this next week. I'll be posting a photo of this look so I would love it if you could head to my Instagram and give me a little love over there too. It's at Pia Muhlenbeck. Make sure you go follow me and for now I'm gonna love, leave you and see you next week. Bye!